Hello everyone and welcome to another Halo Wars video! Today, well, we're, I've got something special for you guys. You've probably seen the thumbnail. Uh, if you know anything about Halo Wars, or at least me playing Halo Wars, about four years ago I made a video on the worst unit in the game. And that was what I thought at the time, a Wraith! Uh, I couldn't just see, like, recently, apparently, it's it's a pretty decent uh, unit, so that is uh, not how this one's going to go. Now, we're starting, it's a 3v3, this has potential to go on forever, this or a long time, um, but I'm going for a tactic that I've never done before, and, oh, oh, this is interesting, because the way I've started is your next door reactor, and as the Covenant, you can do a, a plethora of different things. Uh, you know, you could go Banshees, you could go for Locust, because you've got a free reactor. But, I go for something quite interesting. And I'm going to have to rely very heavily on my teammates. I'm going to go for Ghosts. Now, I think it, out of all the units, Ghost ranks very low. Uh, you don't make them ever. Now, with UNSC, when they have their Warthogs, you make them straight out of the main base, so you don't need a building, but Ghosts, you do. Now, the one plus side to Ghosts is that they are made so quickly. So quick, in fact, I'm really struggling to uh, micro these things. I'm like, oh, oh just, just all get the thing. Because <laughs> they're so close. Um, so I, I put in, like, all my resources at the time into three or four Ghosts. I know I have the middle, Local so groups. I'm I'm Enemy like, okay, engaged. I can heal in the middle. Local now, groups. Cyan on the other team, I actually did a 1v1 beforehand. I had two matches with them. He won the first one, I won the second one. And uh, and we just so happened to match up uh, in this game too. So I don't know any of the players playing at the moment. But I went into this so excited because I units. never do this. I never play Ghost. And, you know, Halo Wars doesn't have too many unique units. You can't really have too many dynamic Local battles units. going on when there's not that many units released in the you know the way it was released i know there's like mods and stuff and i see there's an anders on the other team and i'm thinking they're definitely gonna go for warthogs so let's give them a run for their money and i'm like you know what he's not gonna expect this hell yeah let's go let's go how many times have you seen and already there you go uh Sian is chatting saying lmao <laughs> he's seen he's seen what i'm going for and he's like oh Oh, that's funny. So luckily, and I'm like, oh, I try to say lol, but I, you know, <laughs> YouTuber, not very smart. You know how it is. So I see it. Now he's nice. got one upgrade on me and he gives me respect. I'm like, I love that guy. <laughs> he knows, he knows like, is he just, he's just having fun. I'm like, <laughs> yes I am. So, I mean, the ghosts are one tech below these Warthogs at the moment. So the Warthogs should be able to tear apart my ghosts pretty easily. But I think a trade, one for one there, I think that was... I'm pretty happy with that. Especially as I know that these Warthogs from Yellow are probably going to turn into Gorse Warthogs and be pretty lethal. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself... What, what what can I do here? I'm like, oh yeah, I, I can't do anything. I have no tag. I don't even have a temple. So I can't even make suicide grunts or, yeah, honor guards. I can't upgrade my buildings. I, can, I literally can do nothing. So, but that was part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. We get some ghosts out first. You know, at this point I was thinking, I'll have some ghosts out and then we'll transition into something else. We'll go into wraiths possibly. Or maybe banshees because we've got the extra reactor. But you know what? I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe, maybe we'll go for another base or something. And I, I see those rebels and rebels, they get the rocket launcher on you, man. It's, it's, it's kind of over for your ghosts or warthogs. So I'm, I'm letting my, my prophet just soak up the sponges. And yeah, I do it. I commit. I freaking commit. I don't think I've ever, ever got this upgrade. But we get the boost. We get the boost for the ghost. And... I, I don't really know what my team's going for here. Uh, I can see that, you know, Green's going for Warthog, so I think they might be Anders. Um, but against two Covenants, I was expecting them to rush or something to happen here to force me into maybe going for something else. But we don't. We don't. We, we just fully commit upgrading those warehouses and upgrading me to uh, the boost. And the, I think there is a way for you to 
glitch out your ghost so that if they try to get rammed by a warthog or something, that you can't do it. But here we go. Here we go. We do the boost. We do the boost. They get the little glowy. Wow, there you go. You, you never see it. You've never seen that. And I'm very happy with myself, as you can quite clearly see. We got a kill with the boost from a ghost. Oh, I was so happy. You have no idea how thrilled I was with that. I mean, the, the, the strat is like we profit upgrade your profit. Or he's actually going for a factory as well. I think he might have been trying to to copy me. Maybe he could have been going for race. I'm not too sure. But he's got his profit. I think both of them were uh, just getting stars in their profit by taking on the bases, which is a strat. That's something they can do. And I can see, I think purple is all the way at blues. And green flares at me. So... I'm, you know, I'm going to be there. I'm going to help. I'm going to do as much as I can. He's got a one-star profit, so it's pretty dangerous. It's not, like, upgraded twice, but... Yeah, now you better be worried. We got freaking ghosts with an upgrade. Yes, I've committed to it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and he's not even... He's Look, he's not even going for my ghost. He's just worried. He's just worried about the uh, the warthogs. And I don't blame him. Because you, you think ghosts wouldn't be anything to worry about. But he's about to find out. Here we go. With the ram. With the ram ability. And it's freaking dead. And I, then I realized. Oh, wait. Yellow. Yes. Yellow. Oops. <laughs> yellow is a, yellow's a bit of a problem here. So I, I'm going to hot tail it out of here. And I think green's fled. That purple's attacking him. And that is something to be worried about. Because green's been away. He's he's down on his warthog numbers. And I really don't know what blue's, blue's doing. I'm... I'm kind of crossing my fingers that blue's going for some else. we're going for strafe we are really we're going deep we're going deep into um into the ghost here i think wraith wraith straight uh allows you to maybe sometimes dodge projectiles like probably a gorse cannon or a, a tank uh, shell something like that but here we go i'm kind of uh, you know a little bit worried but purple did back up there was pressure from blue which allowed green to come back out because purple teleported back away. And I want to get this trade. I want to get at least some warthog kills. I see there's one there. Uh, I don't think we get it. But, you know, the, these ghosts are coming out so quick. Even though yellow has the double pump with the, the extra base. But um, at this point, I'm a bit worried because... I know that I, I've, I've gone completely into into these uh, ghosts. But then I also see tanks from blue. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I think... I think... I think my teammates are going to allow me to do this, you know? I think I think we're going to do it. We're going to take a meme you know, just to have fun sort of uh, strategy. And we're bringing ghosts into it. Who would have thought that ghosts would actually bring something to the table? And we're about to show that the mighty, the mighty ghost, out of all of the units, they have their place. They do things. Local and units. ghosts Local never units. really do anything. E even with the brute. Actually, the, the chopper is probably the worst one, to be fair, because the chopper costs Local more and it's two population. Whereas I think the ghost is only one population. But I see that. I see that profit. I'm not about to let him go. We're going to get more, more freaking splatters. Come on, yeah, look, there he goes. Another kill for the ghosts. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, there you go. So, we I don't think we technically killed the first prophet, but we definitely rammed that second prophet. And we've got wraiths coming from Cyan with some shields. And there we go, just, just ram it, just ram it. I've got it. I paid good money for my ram ability. I'm gonna use it. And then I see a hunter. Like, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna get the ram. Yeah! Die! Squish him! So yeah, and I'm 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 pretty happy here. Uh, none of them have asked to get in my reactor, which is interesting. And they seem to be happy with it. Because I think green, you know, green could be on Grenad uh no, he's already on Grenadier direction. He could be on Gorse at this point. But he's not. And Cyan, I don't think Yeah, they're sort of trading that reactor, or at least Cyan oh sorry, um not Cyan. Orange has the reactor for them. And I am actually pleasantly surprised with... Yeah, okay, maybe not. Like maybe the ghost did kind of die there. But I lose so many. And then I look back at my base. And there's another whole squadron of ghosts ready. Because they're just made so quickly. Look at this. 
that, like, this is all Yellow has. And I'm just running in, boosting in, and just trying to kill as many as possible here. He's lost his second base. Blue's done brilliantly there. And I can't believe it. And I'm so invested in this. I forget how to spell fear. <laughs> I was going to say fear by ghost. And I was like, ghost. <laughs> Literally, uh, like my brain is running. I don't know. Fast speed, super hyper drive here. I'm, I'm keeping on like where, where my ghosts are over here. I've got another bunch of ghosts going over there. And you've got to keep on going back to your main base to just queue up more ghosts. And thank God I'm double pumping them because it allows me at least to upgrade, like keep the production going while upgrading them. And here we go. I'm seeing, you know, this other base up, uh, which allows me to, you know, just signal to them they've got another base coming up they, they probably see it anyway Local units. but can we get up to the fabled shield ghosts i mean I, that's how you know a, a battle's went on too long or something like this has happened no conversation here don't know anybody and yet it's kind of working i can't believe it that this is working and I do see the Prophet there. I, I'm thinking to myself, I should probably just get this base killed. Because the base is what's giving him production of Warthogs. And if I can get rid of that, we're going to half his production. However, I'm seeing, you know, some Locusts coming from Cyan. Cyan, of course, he's got the Prophet here. And he's just absolutely blowing away my ghost. Now, actually, the, the strafe kind of worked there for a little bit. And at this point, I'm like, just just boost. Just boost into it. We're, we're probably going to die. And look at that. They just get absolutely shredded. It's ca You know, to go for ghosts, you've got to be strong-willed. And here we go. I, I still have some units. And I'm thinking to myself, nah, he's, he's probably just going to put down a Healy Beam on that. And he's going to keep it. And come on, the final bit. And there it is. Protective Shield. Which is so expensive, and if I'm honest, it, it saves you from nothing. If, if a tank's going to shoot you with its canister, you're going to die either way. Uh, but I see another Prophet. And, again, I mean, maybe this is the tanks helping out, but we go for the... Oh, and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I know exactly where that Prophet's gone. There he is. Did not expect the ghost to come at him. And there it is, splattered. <laughs> Another prophet Local killed units. under the might of the ghost. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yes! So that's two prophets killed. I think it might have been the same dude, actually. Sayan high-tailed high it out of there. Purple, I think, was probably the least skilled out of... I mean, I'm not going to talk about skill. Let's all about having fun at the end of the day. Hence why we're using freaking ghosts. Um, but it's at this point that the battle has the chance to really uh, kick me. Because I don't have an expo. I don't have a second base. I've only got ghosts. So, you know, if an army of tanks shows up, I'm kind of screwed. I think green is still going for warthogs. Blue is doing the heavy lifting now. I, I've lost all my ghosts. I, any hundred I get of resources is going straight back into them. But luckily, the, you know, they're so fast in the production, they're so cheap, that double pumping actually makes sense here. And we've got tanks. From, oh, and there you go, another profit down. Green has actually got tanks and done a good transition uh, from the Warthogs. Kept them going right to the point. Maybe I should go for Wraiths. Could that be an option? Shut up, no. Of course it's not an option. Ghosts are the option. Local units. I don't know. There's something about red. Red ones go faster. What can I say? And I see just a glimpse of purple there. And I'm like, oh. Oh, this, oh, this is it. This is it. The tide is about to turn. We've got a whole bunch of gorse. We've got a lot of banshees. We've got cyan making a play with the locusts. And what do I have? And this is what... This is where we question it. We don't question it, children. Ghosts. Ghosts or nothing. You just... We've got our shield. We've got our shield. We just go in and ram. That's what we do. I, I actually... I keep on having to move my prophet. I, I select everything. And then I have to go back to my prophet and say, No, go away. 
So he's, he's you know, we, we've got some tanks here. Um, luckily, luckily the tanks are good. Uh, I have my profit unupgraded, but I think, you know, if we do a little bit of a beam, it'll scare them into leaving, and it actually does work. I don't even know if you saw my profit there. But the ghosts, I, I, I don't know. Somehow I've survived. But the Banshees are now not so good. They're they're really good against buildings. They're probably upgraded to uh, what's it called the um, the extra fast uh, turret thing. And they it's so satisfying, my Banshee boink just kills it. Local unit. Uh, but yeah, ghosts are not something that I think anybody goes for. I think I've seen it in rare occasion in a two v two. Uh, the, you know, uh, uh, four or five ghosts can be put into it. But I just felt like, I, you know, I've invested so much. If I switched to Banshees at this point, I, I don't think that they would have worked as well. Um, and the fact that Purple went for Banshees was a solid pick. Because at this point, none of us have got anti-air. And they can easily tear apart my ghosts. But they're just so strong. And another Prophet here. Another one. And I, I don't know. I, I want to make it a hat trick at this point. But also the fuel rod cannons from the Banshees. The anti-vehicle turrets. Everything about this. So I, I try and ram. We, we, we get some good rams off. And I'm like, wait. Well, no, we can do this. Some of them haven't rammed yet. Yes! Another kill! By the gun. So that's three. I think three Prophets we've killed at this point. Okay, oh, like he keeps on buying it back and he doesn't do anything with it. It's brilliant. So there we go. Green has Wolverines now. We've got that tech free. Uh, hasn't even, none of them made a play or I think clicked on my reactor to say they needed it. So fair play to them. I paid no attention even if they did. So it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I was like, yes, my little pew pew guns. I think we managed to get that guy? No, we don't. Okay, well, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. So, they are really struggling, actually. That that push from them could have been the, the turn of the tide. If they'd managed to play that correctly, I could have been out. But there just wasn't enough Warthogs from Yellow in order to really take out my factories. And because of that, I don't- I- I feel like I played a part in this. Some little part. I don't know how much. But look at this. We got 28 ghosts and they are still coming. And I think that's the downfall of the ghosts is that they- they- they need so much babysitting. And there you go! Yellow, out of it! Don't even know- like obviously didn't have enough for base or- and uh, resignations all around. I was so happy. We get a ram off on the warehouse, because why not? Of course we do. I think Cyan decides to see this out, but... I don't know, if, if you've played Halo Wars, this is... I, I, I don't know, it's just so rare to see it. I was very pleased. It, you know, it gives you hope. When the meta is filled with, you know, uh, down-teching canny tanks, or warthog rushing, or brute rushing, and then you get a good 3v3 game like this. It just breathes life and you're like, wow, maybe, maybe I could try a different tactic. I mean, obviously not. And because of my teammates, I was able to do this. But there you go. Posed Hawk Redux. Lovely guy. Lovely guy. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, 94 ghosts and one honor gun. How many kills did I get? Two profit. 16 warthogs. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do more. I don't know if we get some fun. I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.